So Adobe has just released version 15.4 of Premiere Pro Beta, and it brings a pretty substantial change to the UI and workflow. So if we open up Premiere Pro and hit new project, we'll see that there's been a complete overhaul of the interface. And it doesn't only change things visually, but also changes our workflow. If we look at the top left hand corner, we'll see import, edit and export tabs. If we compare this to the current Premiere Pro release, we'll notice it's much more streamlined. We'll get into where they've moved these workspaces, but for now, let's just look at the import tab. So this feels like they've taken direct inspiration from Premiere Rush, which is their more beginner friendly video editor. We can select clips, audio and images as you would expect, and it shows all the selected media on the bottom here. On the right hand side, you have the option to create a new sequence. But this brings up a question, with different resolutions, aspect ratios, frame rates and whatnot, how does Premiere Pro choose the right sequence settings? Well, it takes the first clip you select and creates a sequence based on those settings. If you use Ctrl or Command A to select all, it takes the settings from whichever clip is first. Moving on to the edit tab, it looks pretty much the same, but we do have a few more icons on the right hand side here. The two most notable ones being the workspaces icon and the maximize video output icon. So in streamlining the workflow, Adobe has introduced this workspaces area, which houses the workspaces previously shown as tabs. They've also introduced this maximize video output icon, which gives you a full screen preview of your project. Previously, you could do this using control tilde, but it's kind of nice having a dedicated button. Moving on to the last tab, we have export. We can see now that they've made exporting more in line with the rest of your workflow, as opposed to being in a separate window like it was previously. If we have a quick look at the presets, we'll see they've even slimmed this down to the bare minimum. If you're looking for the rest of the presets, it's as easy as selecting more presets and just favoriting whichever ones you want to show in the dropdown. I personally like this. It was just overwhelming with the amount of presets we had before and very confusing for new users. Finally, a feature I'm a little iffy on is direct sharing to popular sites such as YouTube or Vimeo. You can go in and sign into your accounts directly in Premiere Pro and change what looks like very basic settings. I probably would use this direct upload for things like Twitter, but for YouTube and Vimeo, I feel like my workflow will still stay on the website. Just for things like integration with vidIQ, a few more publishing settings and just safety. Until I've tested this feature, I probably won't trust its reliability just speaking from experience from these kind of integrated uploads features in in programs like this anyway that's it for this video friends just a quick recap on what's changed in 15.4 if you want me to do a deep dive on these new direct upload settings let me know in the comments you guys know what to do to support the channel and always remember stay creative and go for broke